What's up, YouTube? I am back with another day in the life of an employed girl who really just wants to do YouTube. Yeah, it's early in the morning right now. I'm getting ready to go to work. I actually got kind of a late start today. I really didn't want to get out of bed, y'all. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't. I was tired when I woke up for some reason. And yeah, I just didn't want to get out of bed. So I laid there for a few minutes. Thank God I did not oversleep or nothing, but I did lay there for a few minutes. So I'm a little bit behind. I'm not going to be late or nothing, but I'm kind of rushing this morning. Y'all know I got to have my tea. Y'all see I'm drinking that raspberry beef tea today. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. I, I'm not on my period now, but this tea helps with period symptoms. Like, it can lighten your period and it can help with cramps, but you got to make sure you, you drink, you have it in your system before it starts. So, I'm going to be drinking this tea this week. It is currently Tuesday. Tuesday. And I was not trying to get out of bed, but you know, I gotta think about it this way. When I'm done with this morning job, I can come right back home and go to sleep. So, it's really not that bad. It's really not that bad. It's not like I have to go straight to my morning job, to my other job. Sometimes I do, but today I don't. This whole week I don't have to. So, let me be grateful for that, because kinda soonish, I'm gonna have to start going from my morning job straight to my other job. And those are gonna be really long days. It's basically gonna be me working from like 6.30 to 6, 6.30 a.m. to 6.30, 7.30 p.m. But it's gonna be some good money. Huh? Oh yeah, I poured too much hot water. I, have, I should have left room for, um, gotta leave room for the cold water. Damn, I don't wanna pour any out. I can pour a little bit out, just a little bit. Just a little bit. All I need is a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. Sneak peek, I didn't get it in. Y'all know that song? A little bit. By Bobby Valentino, Snoop Dogg. I think Snoop Dogg was on that song. But yeah, y'all, I'm just gonna take y'all a day in the life of an employed girly. Sorry for this lighting. The kitchen don't have the best lighting. You gotta like be at a certain angle for it to like, the lighting to like, you gotta be like this. Cause the way the light's positioned, if I'm like this, the light's gonna be in the camera. Hold on, I gotta drink some of this down. Oof, that's hot y'all. What time it is? Yeah, I gotta go. I'll see the time. I don't even know how I can see it, but it say 546. It really mean it's 547. And I try to leave the house by 545, so I'm a little behind. But I still gotta get me some fruit. I'ma have me some oh, I'ma have I'ma have me some grapes as my fruit. Oh y'all, and last night I, I booked my hotel for Toronto, so the Toronto trip coming up soon. I got a Houston trip this week, and then in May, we going back to Toronto. That's gonna be some good content, y'all. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all, I know y'all can't see me, but book that trip, y'all. Book that trip. I don't know about y'all, but I love traveling. Like, that's what the majority of my my money goes to it's not designer clothes it's not food it's not bags it's not shoes it's trips bro because material stuff does not matter but it's about the memories you make so spend your money on memories like even if you don't have a lot of money like instead of spending that money on some new clothes new shoes spend that money on a trip And you do not have to be rich to take trips. That's a misconception, bro. All right, what's up, y'all? I'm back and I'm leaving my morning job. I hope y'all can see me. I feel like the lighting's kind of weird. Like, what in the world? 
oh well but i'm leaving my morning job and going home i'm starving y'all i'm so hungry i'm gonna have me a good breakfast i'm gonna probably have some bacon and some toast and then if i'm still hungry after that maybe some yogurt but i'm very very hungry I'm very hungry last night i had i had what i thought was gonna be a good meal but it turned out being mid it's this mexican food truck near me that i've been going to for a while but like ever since they got a second truck they fell the fuck off bro like i don't think i'm giving them my business no more because i shouldn't have to instruct y'all how to like prepare my food when before i used to prepare it right but like the other day y'all i ordered a chicken torta and it wasn't even toasted like it was it was barely hot bro it was barely hot bro like these niggas falling off bro these amigos falling off like that's how that's how businesses be falling off too though like they they come up and they're like let me open another location let me get another food truck let me do another this but no bro that's how y'all be falling off because once y'all add more to y'all plate y'all shit becomes less consistent and the quality of y'all product becomes it becomes worse i don't know that's just how it be because they used to be a fire Mexican place. Like, they used to have the best tortas. And now, it's like they don't even know how to cook anymore. And the last time I got some nachos from them, they didn't even put hot queso on there. They really didn't put shredded cheese on there, bro. Like, what? They done fell all the way off, bro. Business owners out there. Well, it's specifically restaurant owners, bro. Don't open up that location. Don't do it. Cause y'all probably gonna end up falling off and your food not gonna be as good and don't open up that location i'm gonna tell y'all right now unless y'all just been in business for years and years and years and y'all really gotta hang on it and y'all know what the hell y'all doing and y'all got the staff for it y'all got the funds for it y'all know you're not gonna fall off don't open up that second location but i'm done with that rant I, i'm just kind of butthurt that my meal that was supposed to be amazing turned out to be mid it's probably why i'm hungry this morning because i had a nasty meal last night but yeah, I'm gonna go home and eat. And I was saying this earlier, but I know y'all couldn't hear me because I had the faucet running. But what I was saying earlier is that I was talking about my trip that I booked. And you don't need to be rich to book trips and travel, y'all. You don't. You really don't. Instead of spending whatever money you get on clothes, a bunch of food you don't need, shoes you don't need, jewelry you don't need overpriced car you don't need spend that money to explore and travel the world because the materialistic things don't really matter yo it's more about experiences you have in life so like put whatever money you have towards traveling towards exploring the world like you don't got to be rich to travel if people would live in the projects and still find money to travel and go places and have experiences but you just got to be smart with your money and get a credit card that's what i say like if you want to travel get your credit card like so you don't have to use all your own money use the bank's money and keep good credit like don't don't mess up your credit trying to you know travel keep good credit and use your credit card but yeah once again y'all you don't need to be rich to travel and live a nice life no matter what your financial situation is everyone deserves to experience life and experience the world you know but yeah that's all i really have to say i'm gonna catch y'all later i hope y'all enjoying the day in the life of an employed person who, who really wants to do youtube and yeah i'll let y'all know what i do later i might go home relax for a little bit then do some yoga i'm probably not gonna go for a walk today because it's too cold but yeah i'll catch y'all peace what is up youtube so i'm back y'all when i got home i didn't realize how tired i was but when i got home i passed out i took like a two hour nap y'all a two hour nap i was not expecting that at all i told y'all i was gonna do no, some yoga i didn't do no yoga i still have time to do yoga so i'm still gonna get that in you know i don't want to be a stiff bitch. so i'm gonna get that in but i'm downstairs right now so i can prepare me some food to have for lunch slash dinner so yeah that's what i'm doing i'm gonna prepare me some i got some rice on the stove it's not cooked yet, but I'm gonna start cooking it up. And then we're gonna have some. We're gonna have some lean lean dumplings for um 
for lunch and dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Jo, I did not know I was that tired. Like, I laid down in bed. I watched Fulcrum's news upload. I didn't even get through Fulcrum's news upload. Like, I was so tired. I, I had to pause his upload and just, like, fall asleep, y'all. And I woke up. I was still tired, y'all. Like, mm -hmm. it's the weather days. I think it's the weather, y'all. It has to be the cold weather. Because last week, it was just so nice. And my perfect type of weather was 70, sunny. And today, I woke up. It was, like, 33 degrees and cold as hell. So, that might be why. But yeah, I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I'm probably just gonna cook up this food, eat some food, go do some yoga, and it'll probably be time for me to go to my other job. But yeah, I'll keep y'all updated. I'll show y'all the food when it's done. Peace. Here goes the dumplings, y'all. I thought I had made 10, five to eat for lunch, and then five to eat for dinner. There goes the rice. But I only made nine. I guess my counting skills aren't as good as I thought. And that's what I had for lunch. Just four dumplings. But yeah. What's up, YouTube? So I'm all done with my lunch. As you saw, I had some dumplings and rice. And I didn't eat the dumplings plain. I had to dress it up. One of my dumplings, I put um, the sauce that came in the pack, which is kind of similar to soy sauce, but a little bit sweet, sweeter. And I put some rice vinegar, some sriracha, and some more soy sauce. That's how I dress up my um my dumplings. Now I'm just having some oranges. These are really good oranges. And yeah, after I eat this, I'm gonna finally do my yoga. I have like a hour and 15 minutes until I need to leave. So I'm gonna do some stretching so I don't turn into a stiff bit. What's that all? This just the day in the life of an employee, girly. That really want to do YouTube. So, I'll probably catch y'all either after I'm done with my yoga or after I get off work. We'll see. Y'all see, I'm on my yoga mat doing some stretches. Hold up, this TV too loud. Why was I putting the remote out here? It was still turned on the TV, but that was, that was done. But yeah, just doing some stretches, y'all. And I'm watching Kaya on the TV. Yeah. I recently started watching her channel. She make really good vlogs, I can't lie. I cannot lie. I f*** Kaya. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all I'm doing my stretches. No stiff bits allowed over here. But yeah, I'm glad I decided to stretch. I feel more awake. I feel warm. I'm still not done. But I wanted to show y'all. Make sure y'all are doing y'all stretches. You don't want to be stiff when you're old. Especially if you are Capricorn. Capricorns are prone to arthritis. So if you were a December baby... You need to be stretching. But yeah, I'm going to do some more stretches while I watch Kaya. One day I'm going to have as many subscribers as Kaya. One day I might even collab with Kaya. Who knows? Who knows? But I know for sure I'm going to have as many subscribers as Kaya. But yeah. Peace, y'all. Peace. All right, y'all. So I'm all done with my stretching. I'm going to go to work soon. But as I was stretching and like thinking, it just hit me y'all. I leave for Houston on Sunday and I haven't really started preparing for that. So tomorrow I gotta go to Walmart and get some like travel essentials. And I wanna start packing my bags cause tomorrow's Wednesday and I leave like early, early in the morning on Sunday. Like my flight on Sunday is at 5 a.m. So I wanna like start packing on Wednesday and stuff. And also I gotta get me a rental car y'all. Because, like, my friend I'm staying with, she has a car, but she's going to be working some of the time I'm there. So, I don't want to be super bored, so I want a car to be able to do stuff. So, I need to get that rental car. And I was, I feel like the reason I haven't got it yet is because 
I've been like debating whether I should go Texas style and give you like a truck, like a four by four, four by four, or just get a regular car. Last time I was in Houston, we got a regular like um, Volkswagen and it was cool, but that junk was just so small on the road. Like in Texas, everyone would drive trucks and I want to kind of, I want to drive a truck. Granted, I've never drove a car that big. I've dro driven like SUVs, but like a four by four truck, I've never driven anything that big. So yeah, I'm a little nervous, but sorry that last clip cut out my alarm went off telling me to go to work, but yeah, I'm a little nervous to drive the truck, but I want to, you know, I want to ride Texas style. I do want to get a truck, so we'll see what car I end up renting and I will let y'all know, but yeah, that was the alarm telling me to get ready. So I'm going to put on some pants, you know, put on the hoodies, cold outside and get ready to have the dough and I will catch y'all tonight. Peace. All right, y'all. So I wanted to update y'all on the rental car. So I've made my decision. I'm going truck. I'm either going Ram truck, F-150 truck, or Toyota Tacoma truck. Maybe even GMC truck. But I saw I saw they had this nice GMC truck on there. It was so nice. They had this nice like 2022 Toyota Tacoma truck on there. They had like um Apple CarPlay. And then I was also looking at this Ram truck they had the ram truck was a little older i don't think you have an like apple car play but we gonna see what i go with y'all but yeah i'm going truck i mean i'm on up because i was looking at those trucks and those trucks look nice you know i gotta ride texas style and also like i feel like in the future in terms of cars i would want a truck for myself so i might as well like start practicing driving trucks getting used to driving trucks because i would definitely want a truck for myself in the future for sure i would get me a nice truck a nice ram truck most likely I like Ram trucks. But yeah, in Houston, I'm either going to get Tacoma truck, F-150 truck, or a Ram truck. And yeah. Y'all will see in Houston what I end up going with. I'm not going to tell y'all to. I get the H town, but y'all will see. But yeah. At first, I was going to pick up the rental car at the airport. But I was like, I'm going to be tired. Um... I, I I don't know where my friend's apartment's at. I might as well just have her pick me up from the airport. <laughs> and I think I'm going to have the rental car delivered to her apartment. It's an extra $50, but I think it might be worth it, you know, just to make me getting there a little bit more smoother. Because once I hop off that plane, I know I'm not going to feel like finding the rental car. Even though I know it won't be hard, but I'm not going to feel like finding the rental car. Then driving to my friend's apartment fiddling with the gate code so i know it's probably a gated community and yeah but i don't know i might change my mind just to save the 50 bucks 50 bucks that is that's some money i could i could i could, I could use that for a meal so maybe i will just maybe i'll just thug it out and get picked and pick up the rental car at the airport and drop it back over the airport maybe i will just thug it out maybe i will but yeah y'all will see what car i get in houston that's all we wanted to say peace what's up y'all so i'm going home now i got off work a few minutes later than usual but it's no big deal y'all because i don't be working that many hours anyways but i don't have to go to my morning job tomorrow again i know y'all probably like this girl don't ever go to work shoot i mean when, don't we all want a job that we don't have to go to but still get paid for? True. So, I don't feel the type of way about it. I don't got to go tomorrow. But I'm still getting paid for it. So, I can stay up a little bit later tonight and sleep in tomorrow. And that's why tomorrow I'm going to Walmart and getting travel essentials. I might go to a dispensary in South Jersey because I want to take a cart with me to H-Town. I'm not going to take any flour to Houston. But I do want to take a cart for show a live resin cart so yeah tomorrow i'm gonna go to walmart and then possibly dispensary since i don't got since i don't have my morning job tomorrow and what else was i finna say oh yeah y'all when i found out well not when i found out but i got the urge to like blow that gas tonight because i don't have to wake up early tomorrow but y'all know i'm not smoking during the week no more so we gonna have to find something else to do to preoccupy me. You know, I might read, watch a movie. I'm trying to 
finish my book. I'm probably not gonna finish it. I'm probably not gonna finish it, but I'm, I'm gonna read some of my book. Vibe out. But yeah, I'm not gonna blow gas. I'm gonna stick to my word on what I said about not smoking during the week and everything. But next week, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be on like a little vacation. So I will be smoking during the week next week. I can't lie. I can't lie. But yeah, y'all, I'll catch y'all when I get home. We're gonna see what we do tonight. So I'm not smoking. I'm gonna do something. All right, guys. I know y'all can probably barely see me. But I'm in bed in my PJs and my bonnet and everything. And I wanted to show y'all. Got me a little buzz ball. No, I'm not smoking, but I am sipping. Better than smoking. I don't know if I would say it's better than smoking in terms of overall health, but in terms of brain fog and mental clarity, I'll just sip. Because the THC do be giving me a little brain fog, which I don't even notice until I take breaks, you know? So I'm sipping. Probably won't even finish that. Like, even though buzz balls small, I rarely finish them in one sitting, especially if it's at night. And then here's my read for tonight. Y'all seen this in the other vlog. I'm not gonna finish it tonight, but I'm getting pretty close to finishing it tonight. Maybe next time I open it up, I'll finish it. And I can start on something new. But yeah, y'all. I'm ending out this vlog here. I'm just gonna relax and stuff. I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. If you made it this far in the video, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, bro. It don't cost nothing to like. It don't cost nothing to comment. It don't cost nothing to subscribe. And it only helps my channel out, y'all. So yeah, shout out to everyone who's already subscribed though. And shout out to everyone who comments, especially. Especially people who comment as well. I love the comments and stuff. But yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed that day in the life of an employed girly who really wants to do YouTube. And I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Peace.